Hi, it's Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I'm going to explain to you what an outlier is and what a point of leverage is in regression. To do that, let's consider a simple, most simplest uh, regression model of all, a bivariate regression. So that's because when we have one dependent variable and one explanatory variable. So I plot a scatter plot like so. And then looking at this, we can see that if we were to fit a line, this being the model, it might look something like that if I can draw a straight line properly. Now let's modify, let's add a few more data points here. Okay, I've given you three points, A, B, C. Point A, this is an outlier. Why? Because it's away from the main mass of the dots in the y direction. Another way of thinking about it, if we forget about point B and C, is that if I fitted a line with just these dots and A, my line might look something like this. So you can see that the dots here are close to the line, which is what uh, what um, the least squares estimator tries to do. It finds the intercept and the slope to make this line go through among the dots, go through, go through among the dots. But you've got one line dot here, the observation, which is far away from that line. This distance is called a residual. All right? And basically an outlier is where you have massive residuals in the positive or negative sign residual. So that is an outlier. The outlier is one of the first things you learn about when you look at residual plots. Uh, so I, I know that you're very aware of most of you are aware of what an outlier is. But point of leverage just is less familiar to us. This point B is a leverage point. Point C is a leverage point. If we can be less pedantic about this, we can think of B and C as outliers in the x direction. So point C here, you can see the range of y values for all these dots is between here. This point C also falls within this range but the range of x values among these dots is around here. You can see it all falls in this interval. But C lies outside that, way outside that. So that's why it's called a leverage point. Likewise for B. B lies way outside that as well. So both B and C are leverage points. Moreover, B is a good, what they call a good leverage point, and C could be called a bad leverage point. So leverage points we can consider as good and bad. Why? Well, suppose we forget about A and C the dots there, just consider this dot and that dot there. What would happen if you were to fit a line? Well, since this B, look, it seems to fall on the line, it's not going to it's not going to damage your uh, model. Okay. Whereas you think about if we forget about A and B and just have C there, can you see that the impact of C it will be to drag that line towards it. But it drags it towards it away from the main mass of dots. So it's a bit like a seesaw, you know, this is like a fat bloke in the middle of the seesaw. This is like a small bloke at the end of a seesaw the seesaw is going to be tilt more towards this person even though he's a thin guy because he's on the end of the seesaw whereas this fat guy is on the middle of the seesaw so if we look at am I good, good, good at drawing seesaws there's a big mass there's a little mass it's going to more tilt towards this way because he's more towards the center so to recap an outlier is one for which is a large residual positive and negative and all that means is that the dot is far from the line compared to all the other dots Points of leverage, they are like outliers in the x direction, so they're outside the range of x. And they can be good or bad. If they're good, it's not going to affect the line too much. And if it's bad, it's going to drag that line towards more towards it and away from the main mass of dots in the wrong direction. Now, although I have done this for the basic model, the simple linear regression model, it holds for multiple regression model. So recall that multiple regression is when I got one DV and many many IVs.
is x's then in that such a case I cannot draw such a picture but the idea holds okay so points of leverage then will be that the dots are far from the main mass of the x's and this an outlier is an observation that this has a large residual i.e. that dot is far from the fitted value okay so that's a quick intro on what an outlier and leverage point is once you're happy with that, the next point is, of course, to know how to detect it. Okay, so that's it.